and welcome to 8801 Chemiot Road, Coleraine High School. It's Waycross Community Television's presentation of Coleraine Cardinal Basketball as the Cardinals play host to the Middletown Minis. I am Brandon Wyatt alongside Al Gabriel from wearecoleraine.com and the Cardinals still searching for that elusive first victory as they take on a 4-11 Middletown mini basketball team. And Coleraine almost had that elusive first win earlier this week with a last second loss at Lakota West. Here at, against Lakota West, it was here. Oh, I apologize for the location, but yeah, it was uh, it, baby steps with this program. I talked about it during the JV game. You can see the talent and the infusion of the coaching staff within the community and with this team. They're being well coached. It's just going to take time to build and get these kids to get more experience, to get stronger, and to let the talent that they do have at the younger levels get get here. I'm, you know, as a Coleraine fan, I think you're watching something that could be really, really great in the next two to three years. You've got to have patience with it. Tonight will be a big test for them, and when I say big, I mean really big. Uh, the uh, Middletown Middies will bring to the floor a 6'10 freshman center and a 6'7 forward, which uh, you know will challenge Coleraine and what they want to do just based on the sheer size. Y yes, you speak of you speak of big Ernest Williams, the 6'10 freshman. That's not an error in your in your programs. He's he's 6'10 and he's just a freshman. Also joined in the front court by the 6'7. Jimmy Ratliff, you look at the Cardinal roster, I don't think there's a starter over 6'2". Rodney Allen probably 6'3 off the bench. It'll be a, quite a challenge for the Coleraine Cardinals tonight. I think we're going to have the national anthem here in just a moment. So, Brandon, I was uh, looking over the, uh, you know, the GMC stats and we said that well, you were looking over him. Mean, you were pointing out that uh, Middletown has four wins. Uh, so they're also a young team. Uh, we just watched their uh, JV play. Their JV was made up of a lot of freshmen. So these are two programs that are going to have a lot of talent in the next couple of years that I can see them both challenging for the top of the GMC. So now we'll break for the national anthem. And it's going to be a loud one here tonight as the Cardinals host the Middletown Minis. The pep band is in the house. Now I can tell you what, I can barely hear myself. It's a very loud band. Yeah, pretty large crowd here at Corey from both sides of the stands. As we get to take a look at the starters for the Middletown Minis. For Middletown, number one, six seven junior, Jimmy Ratliff. At guard, 6'1", junior, Kobe Johnson. Number four, guard, 5'11", junior, Ethan Edwards. A 6'2", sophomore, guard, Clifton Snow. And the aforementioned 6'10", freshman, number 34, Ernest Williams. Four, your Coleraine Cardinals. Your are the Coleraine Cardinals. Uh, number one, forward, 6'2", junior, Jalen Spears. Number two, Javon Hicks. The freshman. 
number four, Blake Scott. Number 11, Tremaine Barnett. And number 23, Cass Carter. The Coran Cardinals are led by Blake Scott, averaging just under 12 points a game for the Cardinals. For the middle town minis, they're led by Kobe Johnson, who averages just under 15. Ernest Williams is fifth in the GMC, averaging just under eight rebounds a game. We're getting set for play here. Cardinals, Middies, Waycross TV. I don't think it'll be any surprise when uh, Ernest Williams comes out to jump center. It'll be Ernest Williams jumping against Jalen Speed. No, it will be Jimmy Ratliff, the 6 7 Ratliff to jump against Jalen Spears, one jumping against one. We're up and away. Minis take the opening tip. Ethan Edwards with it up top. Over to Kobe Johnson, he lost control. Ratliff will get it. They're gonna go immediately inside to Williams. Cross court. Edwards back up top. Johnson will set the offense. Whistle off the ball. And it's gonna be on Jalen Spears. His first, team's first, and it's going to be a battle all night down low. Yeah. And you just see the height advantage between Smear, yeah. Spears and Williams. Conventional wisdom says if you're Cole Rain, you want to pressure the ball as far out away from the basket as you can to make getting it to the big, getting the ball inside of the big man difficult. Right now, they're just matching up one on one, on one and that's not a battle Cole Rain's going to win, I don't think. Blake Scott's has given up too much in height and weight. And they're just going to throw it up top. Williams off the glass, can't finish, gets his own board. First two points go to Ernest Williams and the Middletown Middies. And Ernest Middletown the big showing a little pressure as they pick up full court man to man. And the big fresh and making his presence known early. They're going to spread it out. Barnett's got a mismatch one on one. If you can get him to guard you out on the floor like that, go at him. See if you can get him into foul trouble. And that's what I, just as soon as I said that, I hear that coming from the Colane bench. And this is a matchup Barnett's going to try to take advantage of. Drive, pull up Williams with the block. Yeah. Quickly ahead, Kobe Johnson to Ratliff. His shot blocked, blocked. by Jalen Spears. Javon Hicks quickly back the other way. He's going to smartly pull up. He didn't have the numbers. Kick to Blake Scott up top. Yeah. A really good play defensively. Barnett did half of it right. That's what you want to do. We Cass didn't get the foul call, but you went at him. Don't Quickly the ahead, jump Kobe shot. Johnson got too far ahead. Ratliff there to clean it up. Four point leave for the Cardinals and or for the Middies, an immediate Cardinal timeout. Yep. Coach Cruz wants to um, make sure that everybody's on the same page here. I don't think he felt that offensively they had uh, gotten the message of what they want to do in their set. The problem is when they, on the second drive, nobody rotated back and Middletown had a quick and easy run out. And uh, I think coach wants to make sure they're cleared up on that. I think Colrain uh, is where they want to be offensively. They want to try to get the big man to match him out on the floor. Middletown looks like they're going to let him come out on the floor. Uh, the kid has big feet, but or good feet, I should say, uh, and big feet, but probably not going to want to match up against guards and Corey's quickness. At some point in time, I would not be surprised if Middletown went into his own. E.J. Harrell was checked in for the Cardinals. Hicks gets it ahead. E.J. Harrell going to attack it over to Spears. He wasn't ready for the pass. Cliff, Clifton Snow with it out ahead for the Middies. He'll give it up. Kobe Johnson strokes the three. Hicks, his pass stolen, scramble. He'll the get it back the and he'll be fouled in open court by Kobe Johnson. That's one of the freshmen. He's trying to catch a dribble, keep his dribble. Just got to grab it at some point. Yeah. He's going to look at that transition three by Kobe Johnson. Nice tackle underneath by Williams. I wonder if he plays football. Inside, outside, Scott, baseline drive. Kick into Harold, gives it back to Spears, out to three Hicks. Seconds. Three seconds. 
and then just hesitant to attack the basket with the 6'10 Williams inside. I think the uh, 6'10 Williams is inside of uh, Corrine's players' heads. They're uh, playing a little timid right now when they get the ball in the paint. And understandably so, they're, they're, they're giving up a lot, but you have athletes out quick to man. Clifton Snow can't handle the pass, he recovers. Gets it over to Edwards, traveling violation. Yep. Turnover, Cardinal basketball. Cass Carter will bring it up for the Cardinals. Kicks it over to Blake Scott, guarded by Ratliff. E.J. Harrell now, baseline. Kick to Spears, back to Scott. Drive, pull up, elbow jumper. Put the Cardinals on the board. Kobe Johnson quickly brings it up. Edwards over to Ratliff. He'll take the three. No good, long rebound. Hicks fights for it, and we'll keep it. Javon Hicks quickly add ad for the Cardinals. The freshman oh, has it trap. nearly stolen, fighting for it, and he'll draw a foul in open court. Are they, are they calling that on five? Yeah. And they are Clifton Snow. His first foul, team oh, second. Yeah. Substitution, uh, Vincent Calhoun. Did a great, I'm sorry, Mill, I was say, Milltown did a great job cutting the uh, penetration off and forcing the trap against the timeline, making it a... Uh, Basically a three-on-one situation, and Corrine gets bailed out by a foul call. E.J. Harrell with it up top. Now Hicks. Patient offense. Clear out Spears, one-on-one -on, -one on Williams. He's going to drive. Strong to the hole, can't finish. Uh, that's the right look, but again, nobody rotates back for Colrain, and Middletown gets a quick run out. Tried to challenge Kobe Johnson. Good finish. Two points. If you're going to attack the basket, somebody has to rotate back on defense. Oh. E.J. Harrell's pass. Tipped. Or not. They're going to say it went straight out. Substitutions for the middies. Ratliff back in. Jamar Bailey in. As long with Delaquan Wright. Ratliff. Kick to Calhoun. He drive. Kick. Kobe Johnson thought about the three. He'll swing it back to right. Cass Carter applying the pressure. Kobe Johnson now. Pull. Step back. Two points. Give him seven of the middies 11. Jalen Spears quickly ahead the other way. He's going to attack the basket. Have it knocked away by Ratliff. That'll remain Cardinal basketball. Darren Beavers checks in for the first time for the Coleraine Cardinals. Inbound Scott. Kick to the corner. Drive. Hicks gets it inside. Spears back out. Beavers to cast Carter. Kick. Knocked away. Calhoun the other way. And he's going to lay it in for an easy two and miss it. Loose ball. Fought for. Hicks with it. He's going to push ahead. Lost control the other way. And back we go. Kobe Johnson now with it. Pull up. Middle down. Floater's good for Bailey. Timeout. Corey Cardinals. Not to be lost in the trees of 6'10", Ernest Williams and 6'7", Jimmy Ratliff. Jomar Bailey is just a sophomore, and he's 6'4". Let's get another look at that floater. It's 13-2, and a full timeout for the Coleraine Cardinals just playing a little bit out of control. Well, I know that Middletown has decided height advantage tonight, but if I was just eyeballing the way they played in the first you know, half of the first quarter here. You're telling me this team is 4-11? That's amazing to me. Yep, all teams will be gelling at the right spot, but or at the right time. You know, just by looking at them, if I were a, uh, a higher seed in the tournament, I don't think I'd want to look at the other end of the bracket and see Middletown. 
the tough matchup. Yeah. All right, let's, let's let the game play out and see what happens. But just, you know, my early observations of their athleticism, their quickness, and the, um, the three players they can put in the post if necessary. You got a lot of the right parts. It's right. Calhoun, Bailey, Johnson, and Ratliff for the middies. Rodney Allen, Tremaine Barnett, Blake Scott, Darian Beavers, and Javon Hicks for the Colorado Cardinals. Well, kind of two, two, one. Cardinals patiently Ratliff trying to guarding the basket. Beavers into Allen. Kick out to Scott. It's going to work. Baseline jumper. Beavers is good. Other way quickly. Calhoun probably got away with a walk. Puts it in for two. Inside Allen. Going to drive. Foul from behind on the floor. It'll be on Vincent Calhoun, his first, team's third. Inbound to Blake Scott. He is going to travel. Violation. Turnover, middle of the town basketball. Cats Carter in for the Corey Cardinals. Right up top, gets to Ratliff, gonna work on an Odney Allen. Turn around, pull up, it's good. Silky. Pretty shot, Jimmy Ratliff. Silky smooth. Ratliff is just a junior. Kind of on the lanky end, but able to uh, find And there's a steal shot. by Ratliff. Tried to go strong to the hoop. Fouled by Scott on the way to the basket. The lazy pass by Scott yeah. goes the other way. Lazy pass, but great anticipation by Ratliff and takes it strong at hoop, but was going to be denied the flush for the time being, at least. Substitution. Aris Smith in for the first time. First off shot, no good. Sims. Sims in for the first time. Second shot's good. Good. 18 to 4. Middies lead. Carter's got himself in a trap. Got to get rid of it. Tries to throw it Stolen. off the middies. They'll get the steal. Nice Jimmy hands. Ratliff with the ball up top. Kobe Johnson. Ratliff and one. Jimmy Ratliff off the glass on the drive. He'll go to the line for the old fashioned three point play. Foul is on Tremaine Barnett, his first team's third. Ernest Williams is checked back in for the middies. Ratliff short, Rodney Allen with a rebound. Cass Carter to Sims. Tremaine Barnett, baseline drive, cut off. He's out, out of bounds. bounds. Turnover, Middies basketball. Javon Hicks checks back in. And nearly stolen out of bounds. And right into our laps, almost. Hey, 
Kobe Johnson will log it up. And, and travel. Cardinals will take possession. Hicks, to, the freshman Hicks to trigger their inbound. They'll go deep to Rodney Allen. Watch the trap from the back. Get it back up to Hicks. Cardinals trying to spread the floor. Allen drive, baseline All strong, right. blocked by Williams. Williams will track it down. He'll get it ahead to Kobe Johnson. What a catch and finish by Kobe Johnson. Ball stolen. And one. Jomar Bailey. Get another look. What a great play by Kobe Johnson, but then the pass immediately after on the inbound is stolen. Loose ball fought for. Bailey's going to end up with it, put it off the glass. And one. Jalen Spears checks in for the Cardinals. Bailey just a sophomore. And he'll finish the three-point play. Substitution, Clifton Snow in 25-4, 25 seconds to play in the quarter. Jalen Spears ahead to Scott. Tipped away, Sims saves it. Scott with it back. Scott trying to find some space. Sims with it on the outside. Blake Scott, pull up jumper, can't get the roll. No, Tie the up, rebound. jump ball, possession arrow will go to the Colerain Cardinals. Just five seconds left in the first quarter. Scott with it, he's got to get something going, tips away. Sims gets it away, but Block. it's blocked by Williams. And after one quarter of play here at Coleraine High School, it's the Middletown Middies 25. Your Coleraine Cardinals four. There's an all-out blitz by the Middletown Middies in the first quarter. Coach Cruz is Cardinals have got their backs against the wall here so early in the game. At this point, you just want to get as much, get a little bit back at a time. See if you can get this into a 14-point range by halftime. Knock, you know, knock seven points off the lead. And it looks like it's, we have a half-court shot for some money here. And no good. We get one last How attempt. How many shots does he get? Gets three attempts. Three attempts. All this for 50 bucks. And short. Brandon, why don't they ever ask us to do that? Because it'd be worse than that. What's up? Because it'd be worse than that. I don't know. Well, Resetting for the middle tab middies. Clifton Snow, Kobe Johnson, Jimmy Ratliff, Ernest Williams, and Ethan Edwards. For the Cardinals, Jalen Spears, Rodney Allen, Blake Scott, Cass Carter, and Eris Sims. Let's see how long before Colerain goes to his zone. Try to make, make the middies go online and get patient with their offense. And by doing so, maybe forcing some unnecessary or unforced errors. Ratliff with a strong screen. He's going to get it off the roll. In and out, Blake Scott with a rebound. Scott lost control in the air. He's fouled. Looks like he was trying to kick to Cass Carter. Fouls on Kobe Johnson, his second. So the middies leading scorer in some early foul trouble. Substitution, Jordan Thomas in for the middies. Javon Hicks and Darian Beaver is in for the Cardinals. 
into Jalen Spears, out to Scott, tried to step into it, cut off. Javon Hicks will take the three, long rebound. Cass Carter, he'll go strong, floater not there. Ernest Williams just reaches over top of everyone and gets the rebound. His feet never left the floor. Snow, no good. Rebound to Hicks. Lost control, gets it back. <laughs> No, he doesn't. It's like they're playing croquet there. Or Lifting snow out plays. ahead. He'll Through pull it back. Twice. Nice. Edwards Dribble has drive. Left hand, no good. Nice hesitation by Ethan Edwards. Get another look on the replay. Tried to float it off the glass, just can't connect. Edward, Edwards connects on the first. A 33% free throw shooter on the season. All stats courtesy of the GMC website. Vincent Calhoun checks back in. We got a foul and on the rebound on the aforementioned Jordan Thomas. Five team fouls on both teams. The second on Calhoun. Beavers kicks out to Carter over to Hicks. Scott to Spears. Kick to Beavers up to the free throw line and he's fouled in the open floor. Middletown fans behind us didn't like that call, but there was body contact for sure. The third on Vincent Calhoun. So he'll take a seat. The Laquan Wright checks in. Mm -hmm. We got six fouls on Middletown with uh, plenty of time left in before half. They'll begin the one and one after this, but unfortunately, none of them are on the big man. And even though his stat sheet's not filling up, maybe except for a few blocks, and rebounds. he's been intimidating. He has been a factor on the floor. Spears saves it, tried to kick it to Beavers, that, loose that's, ball. That's a prime example of what I was just saying. Edwards with the left hand. He created two points for Middletown based on sheer intimidation. He won't get a stat for that, but he's been very, very a huge factor in the game. A full timeout was again another look at the steal. And Ethan Edwards, other way, finished with the left hand. 28 to 4, Middies now lead. I'll take a moment here. I told uh, Coach Cruz um, the next time that I was on the microphone for a broadcast, I would give a special shout out to his family up in Cleveland. Uh, they uh, are regular watchers of Coleraine basketball, both on Waycross Community Television online and on the broadcast on wearecoleraine.com. And uh, he said that his family listens or watches every single game that we uh, that we do and. I just want to say thanks for uh, following. And uh, Coach Cruz says, hey. Actually, I don't think he actually said hey, but. I, I hope, don't know what I he's hope, saying I, right I now. I, yeah, I hope nobody out there can read lips because I, I don't want to fathom what he might be saying. It'll be Edwards, Snow, Wright, Thomas, and Williams for the middies. Scott, Beavers, Hicks, Spears, and Cass Carter. The Cole Red Cardinals. Javon Hicks to trigger the inbound. Beavers pass stolen by S Snow. Straight to the basket, floats it in for two. All, all, all Coach Cruz can do is just shake his head. He, gets he puts the players in the right spots, but you got to execute at some point. He attacks Beavers, he loses control. Out of bounds. Tremaine Barnett checks back in. right to walk it up. Snow into Williams. He's going to go strong off the glass for two. Good hands to make the catch. And, and Hicks pass goes out of bounds. And Substitutions and wholesale coach, for the yeah, Cardinals. All, five new players. Coach uh, is not Allen. happy with the effort of the five that were on the floor. And he said, you know what? In 
typical. Well, he's got six on the court right now, so someone else has got to come out. And somebody will come out. Deion Andrews. Five new front, not five new players on the floor. I saw Coach Huggins do this once or five times. And Andrews, uh, Harrell, Allen, Sims, and Pewitt for the Cardinals. We get a, a foul down low. Foul on E.J. Yeah. Harrell. E.J. Harrell, the... He's got to be giving up almost two feet. The, 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 the program says 5'8". That's being kind. Trying to guard uh, Ernest Williams. Uh, but he was working inside against the big man. But, again, I... Drive, baseline, kick, into the corner. In Snow hits you the three. There's no point in the zone if Milltown's got shooters, too. Sims draws the foul to open court, and the Cardinals have a chance to put some points on the board here from the free throw line. Harris Sims to the line. Sims did a great job of splitting the double team and drawing the foul on the reach. He's a 44% free throw shooter on the season. Well, that's, that's not good. Jamar Bailey and Jimmy Ratliff check in for the middies. Sims misses the front end. Rebound by Bailey. Ratliff quickly the other way to Snow. Back, kick inside. And shot going to count. They're calling it on the floor, so it'll be a one and one. Foul before the shot. This is what the call is. Jordan Thomas to line the one and one. Foul was on Dion Andrews, his first. Jordan Thomas makes the front end. Yeah, I thought they, uh, Middletown players thought that it was a, that it was a and one, but they did call the foul on the floor. I thought it was in the act of shooting. You know, and no, at least knowing the NBA, that had been continuation. So here we go, a second foul shot. Makes them both. Just a 33% free throw shooter coming in. Gets it over to Pewitt, out ahead to Sims. Steps through the Pewitt. E.J. Harrell to Deion Andrews. Rodney Allen working it now. His pass okay. is ball. going to be stay with a kickball. And he got bailed out there. That should have been a fast break going the other way. Uh, I couldn't see it. I was shielded by the official so, and part of the scores table, so I couldn't tell if that ball was actually kicked or not. E.J. Harrell kicks to Deion Andrews. Looks down low, not there. Ratliff the other way. Running jumper, no good. Shot blocked by Rodney Allen. They say he got a piece of the arm. And they're going to call that a two-shot foul on the rebound attempt. Jimmy Ratliff was a 60% free throw shooter, and Ratliff skies above everyone else to get his own rebound. They're calling that they're calling that an act of shooting, but they didn't call the continuation on the last one. That was okay. First free throw is good. Blake Scott in the game. Ratliff can't hit Scott with a rebound. E.J. Harrell with it. E. Andrews back to Harrell. Scott with it. He'll take the long three. Short. Out of bounds. Wright will walk it up for the middies. Scott tried to make the steal. Number 
Wright Coach is a 55 percent free throw shooter on the year. Because oh, Coach Cruz talking to um, Blake Scott about that foul, you know, basically 45 feet away from the basket. The second on Scott, team's ninth. Nice look inside. Allen pull up off the glass, no good. Jordan Thomas the other way for the middies. Ratliff kick, drive, Thomas cut off. Up top, Clifton Snow hits the three. And that will draw a full timeout from the Cardinal bench. Nope, from the Middletown bench. So good ball movement here. Ratliff, drive, kick, baseline. Everybody drive. clapped on the uh, on the drive, and that left the top of the key wide open. And give a shooter a wide open room like that, they will knock it down. Unless they're me, I would have knocked it down. So that's the first timeout for the middies. I believe. Uh, well, I don't want. I don't know what the coach might be thinking. He might be thinking about uh, trying to finish out the first half strong and getting well, the, and, and setting up strategy for the second half. It's I mean, not, this it's is not a game a, that's out of hand right now. It's not a use it or lose it. So maybe just trying you know, to get some. Corrine is a uh, program that has fought hard all year. They have not gotten that first win, but they play hard, and this is just. This is just one of those games that got away from them. Uh, you know, still plenty of time. You still want to. You still want to work. You still want to see what you can do. And I know Coach Cruz is going to continue to coach these kids as hard as he can, and I know the Corwin kids will continue to play as hard as they can. Scott gets in trouble. Allen with a good catch, but his foot's out of bounds, and a turnover to the Middies. Middies will stay and come back out in the 2-2-1 uh, two -two press. Once again, with Ratliff, they like to use him uh, in the paint on the uh, back end of that press to protect the goal. Bailey swings it to Snow. There's two Baileys on the court right now, Jamar and James. Kick to the corner. Edwards thought about the three, not going to take it. Yep. I think you know, we're starting to see what the strategy might have been for Middletown in that last timeout about trying to use some clock and run some offense and work for a good shot. And there's going to be a moving screen on Bailey. Or not. Well, I think they're going to get uh, Sims for trying to fight through the screen. But I think that's what I was, uh, the Middletown strategy was. Is to Kind of go to a little bit of a North Carolina four-corner offense and run clock and shorten this game, if you will. Bailey misses the first. That's James Bailey now seeing his first action. Kobe Johnson will check in for the middies. And the confusion will end because we don't have two Baileys to call out now. If you can't tell, I'm guessing yeah. they're twins. Yeah. James Bailey, number 10. He's only listed as 6'6". The second free throw is good. Car Andrews dribbles through and throws it away. Substitution, Cass Carter will check in. And Jalen Spears. Edwards gets it up to Kobe Johnson. Johnson, three-point shot, no good. Long rebound, fought for. Johnson gets it back. Ratliff, shot, no good. Scott with a rebound. Over to Cass Carter. Trying to find some space and draws the open court foul. Okay, Cass line, Carter goes to the line. One. Darian 
Beavers checks in. One and one situation here for the Cardinals. And he misses the front end. Ratliff pull up runner. Doesn't go Javon Hicks with the board. Out ahead, Blake Scott. Baseline drive, cut off, steps back through, off the glass for two. Thanks to the left hand and, and the glass. Edwards calls out the Middletown play. Clifton Snow on the outside. Bailey with it. Kobe Johnson. Three point shot. Edwards from the top of the key, no good. Yep. yep. And Scott will get called for the foul on the block guy. He was okay until he turned, until he dipped. He just held his back straight. He'd have been okay with the positioning, but he, he didn't push out. He pushed in, I guess, so to speak, and took the player to the floor. I see what Coach Cruz's art was uh, questioning and making the same gesture here that I was just talking about, about what happened, but. Bailey makes the first. Eh. Just for argument's sake, I'll, I'll, go, I'll agree with Coach Cruz on this one. Why not? Right into the ball game for the middies. And in and out on the second. Spears will collect the rebound. And Middletown off of a free throw miss, still able to set up their press. It'll send Hicks to the line, the foul on Jimmy Ratliff. I believe that's just his first personal foul. Team's ninth will still be the one and one for the Cardinals. Hicks makes the front end. And he'll bank the second, 43 to eight with just under two to play. Kobe Johnson. Over to Ernest Williams to just check in. He's going to work on Beavers into Ratliff. Who goes strong? And one. I'll put Ratliff into double digits. The first player in the game to do so, I do believe. Every player on the floor for Middletown has at least has scored. Two other players are flirting with double digits. Ratliff completes the three-point play. Scott over the corner. Up top over to Spears. He's going to attack the hole right away, and it's blocked by Ernest Williams. By my unofficial count, his fifth block in the first half. And a big block there by Ernest Williams. But he showed a little hint on that block of what Colwain was wanting to attack earlier. It wasn't a straight up block. He reached out and down, and that can get the big fella in foul trouble. Unfortunately, Colwain not, was not able to take advantage of that early enough for it to make a difference in the, ga in the basketball pass game. Stolen by Thomas, who goes quickly all the way off the glass. Barnett's pass is knocked away. Stolen. Ratliff comes down with it. His shot straight up is blocked. The foul of the body will send Ratliff to the line. Javon Hicks second. Ratliff to the line for two shots. Thank you. 
Deion Andrews checks in for the Cardinals. Right in for the Middletown Middies. Right left, can't hit the second. Barnett gets it over to Hicks. Out ahead to no one, Ernest Williams will get the steal. One minute to play in the half. mitty has got a mismatch, Barnett trying to guard Williams, giving him to the cutter. Adam Delacroix right with the two points. Andrews, Charles the open court foul. 51 first half points for the middies. So we get another look here at the pass by Williams. Good play by the big man. He draws the double team and hits the cutter of the basket. Andrews makes the first. Hewitt in for the Cardinals. Jamar Bailey in for the middle tab minutes. Andrews misses the second one, but Beavers with a good box out, try to knock it away from Williams. He can't handle the rebound. Out of bounds, and it remains. Cardinal basketball will get a 30-second timeout from the Middletown Middies. No matter the score, the Middletown bench is not going to give up coaching this game out. So at that 30-second timeout, we reset with just under a minute to play in the first half. Middletown leading the Thorane Cardinals 51-9. to Both teams are in the double bonus. Cardinals have two timeouts remaining. The middle time middies with three. It'll be Scott, Barnett, Hewitt, Andrews, and Hicks for the Cardinals. Williams, Ratliff, Thomas, Bailey, and Edwards for the middies. Throw in, stop, loose ball, last touched by the Cole Rank Cardinals. I would normally point out that about six extra seconds we did not run initially and then we'll run after the whistle. But I don't think it matters at that point. Tried to make up for the fact that they didn't start the clock in time. Kobe Johnson checks in for the middies. Edwards takes the inbound. Action for the middle time minutes trying to run this clock down and play for the last shot. Edwards over to Kobe Johnson. Kick down to Ernest Williams. He's going to attack. High out. Fought for. Andrews with it. Gets it. Lost it. Kicks it. Hicks with the long shot. Doesn't go. And after one half a play here at Corain High School. It's the Middle Town Middies 51. Your Colt Ray Cardinals 9. I began producing and volunteering for Wake Cross when I was in the seventh grade. Since then, I have produced many programs that have won awards on the local, regional, and even national level. Wake Cross Media was the ideal place for me. I just got involved in, you know, as you say, as a hobby and continued on from there. Anyone with a message that they want to share should come to Wake Cross, take the classes, and produce their own television show.
And welcome back here to Coleraine High School for the second half of action here as the Cardinals trail the Middletown Minis 51 to 9. Brandon Wyatt alongside Al Gabriel. Al, give us some of those first half stats. Well, here's the first thing that's going to jump out at you. Coleraine is only out being out rebounded 18 to 14 in this basketball game. By looking up at the scoreboard and seeing the deficit, where is that coming from? Now, here it is. Middletown has 13 assists and just two turnovers in the first half. Coleraine has just two assists and 21 turnovers in the first half of basketball. Middletown scoring in a transition. Uh, Jimmy Ratliff leads all scores, <coughs> excuse me, with 12 points. Uh, Kobe Johnson has nine, and Clifton Snow has eight. Uh, for the Coleraine Cardinals, Blake Scott leads the way with four points. Uh, but I believe he's uh, saddled by uh, three personal fouls in the first half. And it, if your coach um, Cruz, I'm not sure in the second half what you're what you're telling your kids at halftime. I can only assume that he's telling them to keep playing hard. We're going to keep trying to work what it is that we're working with you and teaching you. And let's we'll see if we can be effective in the second half. The scoreboard doesn't matter right now. What you're trying to do is win the third quarter, win the fourth quarter. So it'll be Scott, Hicks, Carter, Spears, Sims for the Cardinals, Williams, Snow, Johnson, Ratliff, and Edwards for the minis. And we're underway in the second half. Spears trapped, knocked away by Johnson, out of bounds, remains Cardinal basketball. Up top to Scott, finds some space, pull up in the paint, and hits the two. Excellent, excellent. Good start. Kobe Johnson. Back up top to Edwards, swinging around Snow. Kobe Johnson, kick to Jimmy Ratliff, thought about the three. And we got a foul down low. Sims trying to guard Williams. We'll draw the foul. You know, sometimes the big man gets caught for foul just for being big. That has not been the situation tonight for the Cardinals, unfortunately. Williams catches it, yeah. turn around, and puts it in. Out of bounds, yeah. off of Sims' foot. Kobe inside to Williams, turn around, two points. Hicks hits the cutting spears down low and left one. hand and one. Foul, you get another look. Great look down low by Hicks. He finds the slip to the basket. Spears puts it in with the left hand. That'll be the foul on E. Ernest Williams. His first. Spears in and out. Williams with the rebound. Quickly out ahead. Kobe he Johnson traveled. traveled before turnover to the Coleraine Cardinals. Cass Carter with it. Inside to Scott. Pull up inside the lane. And give him another two. Nice 1-3-1 one, one offense that uh, Coach Cruz called up. Right now, Coring's leading the second half 5-4. to four. Inside look, Jimmy Ratliff kick out to Edwards. Back to Ratliff. He's going to spin, baseline, floater, no good. Rebound back to him. Out of bounds, last touch by the middies. Team rebound to the Coring Cardinals. Middletown has gone to a 1-3-1 one, one matchup zone look. Coleraine will find open shots if they're patient. Sims with it in the corner, up top to Hicks. 
Drive cut off by Ratliff. We'll get it back up top to Spears. Now reset, drive, left hand, floater, off the glass, and one, Jalen Spears. And that'll be the second foul, I think, on Edwards. Yes, it will be. And we saw this from the Cardinals earlier. We're going to get a wholesale substitution the other way. Thomas, Vaughn, Wright, Bailey, and Bailey in for the Middletown Middies. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. Wright walks it up over to Calhoun. Into the post, stolen by Sims. Scott kicks it to the corner. Javon Hicks, baseline pass, stolen by Bailey. Out ahead, Calhoun. Strong to the hole, she can't finish. But Scott just picked up his fourth foul. Vincent Calhoun makes the first. Box out. Box out. And the second. Milltown able to set up their press now after a score on the other end. Spears over to Cass Carter. Kick back to Scott, passes tipped, and it'll go out of bounds for Maine Cardinal basketball. Rodney Allen checks in for the Gardens. Cass Carter. Kick to Scott. Draws his defender up and under. Can't get it. Allen rebound. Up strong. Shots no good. But two up free throws upcoming for Rodney Allen. That foul is on James Bailey, his second. Allen buries the first. Allen can't hit Spears with the rebound. He goes up. Jalen Spears with seven points Corrine, to start this quarter. Corrine has doubled up Middletown in the second half, 12 to six, and have outscored what they accomplished in the entire first half. In three minutes in the second, or third quarter. Foul on Spears, his second. Team's third. Thomas, three-point shot, no good. Scott with the rebound and immediately out ahead, and he's fouled in open court. And it'll be on Vincent Calhoun. 14 foul on the middies in the second half. The fourth mm. on Calhoun. <laughs> Kobe jump. And Carter can't finish. Spears with the rebound. He's rejected by Bailey. Rodney Allen with it. He's nice knocked away by clean. Thomas. Out ahead. Thomas will not get it. Bailey with the cleanup, not there. Ratliff can't handle it, saved out of bounds. Last touch by the Middletown Middies. We get a timeout for the Colerank Cardinals. 30 second timeout. And good timeout by Coach Cruz. He's coaching the second half, just like I said at the beginning. It's a new ball game. Forget the scoreboard, let's win the second half. Let's get something that we can build on here. But right now they are playing well. They got Edwards in foul trouble, which is what they wanted to do in the, in the beginning of the game. They weren't able to do it. And then uh, Middletown's playing a little loose and sloppy, like they have a, a huge lead. And uh, Corrine's taking advantage of it here. Let's see, if, uh, let's see what goes on from here. 
for the Cardinals, it'll be Allen, Spears, Carter, Scott, and Barnett for the Middies. It'll be Ratliff, Wright, Thomas, Johnson, and James Bailey. Inbound to Ratliff. Oh. And they're going to call Jalen Spears. I don't know about that one. I don't either. I believe Ratliff was the one that was uh, holding the arm down. But they're going to pick up out. Um, Spears. Almost the exact same play. Swing around, Jimmy Ratliff. Long three, no good. Cass Carter will collect the rebound. Pass to Scott. He's got numbers if he can they've find got, them. They've got numbers. They had an odd man rush if it's for hockey. Scott tried to get it. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back for two points. Bailey, turn around in the post, can't finish. Rebound out to off the Middletown Middies. No. Off of the go rank Cardinals Middletown basketball. Coach Cruz wanting them, the official to look for the moving screen as Middletown sets up his offense. Edwards, I think he mentioned, is a check back into the game for. Uh, James Bailey, who was guilty of the moving screen. Williams stepped through, can't get the finish. Good defense for Rodney Allen. Oh, don't get it behind the back dribble in the traffic like that. Cass Carter out ahead, Jalen Spears. Kick to Allen, pull up, shot no good. Rebound to Thomas. All right. Ratliff pushing the pace, floater no good. Rebound to Rodney Allen. Strong rebound. Cruz wants his team to slow down a little bit. Scott pull up and hits. And timeout for the Middletown Middies. Well, that's about as good as you can get if you're Cole Rain. You can't ask for a better start to the second half. You could Six, 16 to six in the second half for Cole Rain. And that's, you know, that's, you know, it's a small victory. It's a moral victory, but that's, you know, in a game like this, that's, Pretty much all you can, can look to is improvement. You're going to have to play Middletown again. Learn something about them. Get some confidence for the, the next matchup. I'm going up to uh, Middletown to play basketball, which is one of the special places in all of Ohio for high school basketball. You know, you, the last thing you want to have to deal with is a team that beats you up pretty good in your place and deal with that environment and, and that great facility that they have up in uh, Middletown. So if you can at least take one of those advantages away, which is the mental aspect of it, that, hey, you know what? We didn't play well at all in the first half, but we, we did really well in the second half. Why can't we do that again? <laughs> Resetting for the middies. It'll be Wright, Snow, Thomas, Kobe Johnson, and Ernest Williams. For the Cardinals, Barnett, Scott, Allen, Spears, and Cass Carter. I wonder if the Middletown football coach looks at uh, Ernest Williams and goes, left tackle, left tackle. Please come play left tackle. I think that's the kind of kid that doesn't play football. Just Kick. a freshman. It's going to be fun to watch him for four years. Clifton hey, Snow right, traveling. Javon Hicks will check back in for the Cardinals. Middletown Middies participated in an exhibition game earlier in the season where E.J. Williams went against uh, the 6'10 freshman, went against Luke Kennard, the Duke commit from Franklin High School. Oh, wow. So the Cincinnati is what saw one D1 star. He's got another one in the making. He's going to get a block there, driving in the hole. They're going to call Spears jump Spears gets it. Jump ball Middletown possession basketball. error to the middies. It was a great offensive set. Excellent pass by Scott. Great recovery and uh, block from behind. Williams with the screen. 
Thomas looking inside. Williams kicks to Snow. Back to Williams, knocked away. Tremaine Barnett pushing it ahead. He's going to drive up. No good. But he'll go to the line for two. Absolutely. One way to beat size is to beat it up the floor. If you, can't, if you can get to the basket before Edwards can get down to the other end, you know, see if you can make something happen. Foul was on Kobe Johnson, his third, team's fifth. Barnett makes the first. Edwards checks back in for the middies. Barnett yep. can't connect. And it'll be last touch by the Middletown middies. <laughs> I, I honestly thought they were going to whistle uh, Jalen Spears there with the foul, but instead they're going to get the uh, possession of Colerain, and the, uh, the quarter-long run continues for the Cardinals. <laughs> Coach Cruz did not want... Uh, Allen to shoot. He'll take the Barnett shot. Long rebound fought for. And it's Ratliff getting ahead to Kobe Johnson. Nice. Up, through, nice. and two. Beautiful play by Kobe Johnson. He's made some pretty moves. He made that catch and Gotta finish earlier. Got to get some help. Snow has it knocked away from behind by S Scott. Ooh, he called it uh, Middletown basketball. Where that ball went off of number five's leg. You know, Chased it down, but I have a horrible angle, so I'll, I'll again, we'll trust the uh, official's word for it. We got another look at that Kobe Johnson lay-in. Inside to Williams. We're gonna Push on the uh, on the floor. Hurry. You cannot let him catch it. Hurry. Hurry. The foul's on Sim with the push from behind. Coach is uh, telling Ari Sims that uh, he can't let him catch it. That's that's, uh, that's a, literally a that's tall a, order. It's a very a tall intended. task. Turn around, Williams. Two points. At a certain point, you can't defend that. No, you can't. Over top to Scott. Baseline, cut off. He's got himself in trouble, got to get it away. Hicks. Knife through. Yeah. Hicks crossover, knocked away. He's going to recover it. Get it to Sims, who goes up strong. Blocked by Williams. Edwards out ahead. Kick to Ratliff. Transition two. Foot on the line. That was just a two-point basket. And Barnett fouled an open court. Give Ratliff 14 points in the game. That was not a three, just a two-point basket. And he's keeping with their pressure. Trying to maintain their edge in the basketball game. And they had uh, gone a little uh, lazy early in the third quarter. And one way to get, get your edge back is to attack. And a foul on open court on the Cardinals. So, Wright will walk it up for the middies, get it to Jimmy Ratliff, who has it knocked away by Spears, but it to the middle time middies, kick back up top to Edwards. Ratliff, back to Edwards. Kick over, Jimmy Ratliff, drive, yep. baseline, travel violation, turnover. Cardinal basketball. Substitution in the game, E.J. Harrell checks in for the Cardinals. Seven seconds to play in the quarter. Inbound over E.J. Rat, E.J. Harrell. He's gonna kick Scott. He's gonna gotta pull up, kick, shot off. Oh. No good for Spears. Cardinals did everything right, but finish. And after three quarters of play here at Corrine High School, it's the Middletown Middy 63, the Coran Cardinals 26. Yeah. 
replay of the uh, ending sequence. Coach Cruz was uh, down on the baseline uh, arguing for a foul call. I didn't see one and I can't really tell you. Might have gotten him on the hand. Spears certainly acted like he was fouled, but it was hard from our angle to see that. But nonetheless, a much better quarter for the Coleraine Cardinals. Coleraine outscored Middletown in the third quarter, 17 to 13. And that's what, what I talked about at the beginning of the second half. You know, just try to win the third quarter. You won the third quarter. Now let's go out and see if you can win the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter will be a little bit more challenging. Middletown's playing hard too. They haven't let up with their press in spite of the score. And I'm sure Coach Cruz would not have that any other way. So after Coleraine, learn something about their press that you can take up the Middletown the next time you play these guys. It's right. Snow, Edwards, Ratliff, and Williams for the middies. Scott, Hicks, Allen, Spears, and Andrews for the Cardinals. Scott strong to the hole. Fouled on the way, yeah. foul on the floor. But it's the seventh team foul on the Middletown Middies. Sends Good Lake defense Scott to the by line. Middletown. They were funneling the uh, dribble penetration towards Edwards. But uh, give credit to uh, Blake Scott. He kept the defender on his hip, drew the contact. Williams. Gets a chance for a couple free points. Williams. Hmm? Williams. Not Edwards. Williams is the big man. Williams. First free throw is oh, short. Williams, I said Edwards. Six. I apologize. I keep saying Edwards because there's usually about four or five Edwards that play basketball from Middletown. I apologize to the family of Ernest Williams. I do mean Ernest Williams. As Hicks is a strong move, the freshman jumps up, gets the rebound, and puts it in and completes the three-point play. In fact, I believe a Vincent Edwards could, is a starting safety for the UC Bearcats former Middletown yes, Middy. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for pointing out once again I was wrong. Look, looking to Williams, guarded by Allen. He's going to try to work the post. Kick out. Cross court. Edwards to Snow. Three point shot, no good. Rebound, Williams. Off yep. the glass. It's, it's, not only does he have the height, but he's got the wide body. It's hard to move him when you have position. There's not, you had the right position. He was just taller than everyone else yeah. on the court. You just couldn't push him. Scott drive, left hand. And one. And one. The Cardinals will not go quietly into the night. Scott up to 14 points now. Been watching Independence Day a little bit too soon or too much lately. I don't, I don't know. Give Scott 14 points, lead, uh, it's actually tied for a high scoring game. With Ratliff, who also has 14 for Middletown. Ah, uh, that's a scoreboard area, it only and has 13. Now he's the leading scorer, there you go, what's that? Ratliff only has 13, that's a scoreboard area. Oh, okay. Hands up, hands up. Edwards are walking up. Calhoun driving to the uh, basket, right hand float, no good. Long rebound out to Scott. He's going to push the pace, try to find some help, and he's fouled yep, on his way to the basket. On the, on the floor, he'll go to the line and shoot the, uh, actually, that'll be the 10th team foul on Middletown. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Two shots for Blake Scott. Foul on number 23, Dalaquan Wright, his third. Give him 16. First is good. Kobe Johnson checks in for the Middies. Along with Jimmy Ratliff. Scott's the senior. Scott is the senior. Captain of the Cardinals as he makes the first two. Well, he's played well here tonight. 17 points for the senior. Kobe Johnson looking down low to Williams. Two points. Deion Andrews pushed the pace ahead. Rodney Allen strong and tall. It'll be the third foul. And I said earlier, Williams has not had a play where he got a foul because he's bigger. Yeah, uh, this uh, is a here's what I pointed out earlier. When he goes up for the block, he wants to reach down instead of going straight up and using his superior height. 
And that's what the uh, official, well, uh, you know what? On that replay, it looked like, like that. Allen hits the first. That's the first time Williams has got a foul because he's the, big, the bigger man. Yeah. Allen buries both. Substitution in the game, E.J. Harrell. Calhoun over to Kobe Johnson, corner three, no good. That's it. That's it, Deion. Deion Andrews draws a foul. Foul on number five, Clifton Snell. So it'll be two free throws upcoming for the Cardinals. Hicks short on the first. Makes the second 67 37, 623 to play. Kobe Johnson with it up top. Michigan State! Michigan State! Baseline runner! Baseline runner! Inside look. In and out. And travel violation. Calhoun. Substitution. Ethan Edwards in for the middies. Harris Smith gonna attack Williams straight up, can't finish. And Sims nearly had the steal from behind though. It'll be his fourth team seventh will send Ernest Williams to the line. Makes the first. Scott lost, slipped. And Ratliff with the two points. Out ahead to Javon Hicks. Pull up, jumper is good. Inside Williams, turnaround, can't finish. Hicks with the rebound. Cardinals continue to push it back. Scott, transition three is good. Give Scott 20 for the Cardinals. Edwards pass out of the hands of Kobe Johnson. You know, we say it as we get substitution Spears, Barnett, and Cass Carter in for the Cardinals to get another look at that transition three for Scott. It's that one quarter for the Cardinals that always cost them the game. They were competitive, keep it close, keep it close. In this case, it was an entire half. And the Cardinals have shown they're a much better team here in the second half than in the first. So a 30 second timeout for the middies.
It'll be Johnson, Edwards, Ratliff, Snow, and Williams for the middies. Scott Carter, Barnett, Spears, and Sims for the Cardinals. Scott in the corner. Barnett for three. Loose ball. Knocked away by Sims. Spears with it up top. Over to Barnett. He'll step back, take another, and hit it! He lost control again. Spears the other way. And ahead to Barnett, blocked oh. by Ratliff. Oh. But they say he fouled him in the act. He had to have gotten him with the body on the way down because that was all ball. There was some body contact, but that was... I think that would have been a good no call. If the camera would have zoomed in on the players waiting to substitution, their look that that was a foul was in utter disbelief. But Barnett, either way, goes to the line, shoots two free throws. Makes the first substitutions. Hicks and Allen in for the Cardinals. Calhoun, Thomas, and James Bailey in for the middies. We're getting a look at that long three from Tremaine Barnett. A long three that I thought was going to hit the ceiling. Wow, Barnett put some rotation and height on his jump shot. Misses the second attempt. And, and he'll pick up a cheap foul. situation for Clifton Snow at the line. Snow buries the shot. Chance to go into double digits for Snow at the line. It'll be the fourth Middletown player to receive that tonight. Substitution EJ Harrell check in. It'll be offense, defense substitutions for the Cardinals getting another shooter on the court. And steal. Other way, up under, can't finish. Scott with a strong rebound, and he's fouled. James Bailey's third foul. Cardinals are in the double bonus. First is good. Blake Scott has 21. Rodney Allen will check in. Scott hits them both. Kick to the corner, Snow back up top to Ratliff. Midians will run some clock now. Cardinals immediately switch to a man to man. Ratliff over to outside, Thomas inside. On the floor. It'll be a one and one opportunity for Middletown. Good defense by Colerain. Things have not been nearly as easy for Middletown here in the second half. Scott, offensive defensive substitution is back in. Thomas misses the second. Loose scramble, gets his own rebound. Up strong and, and one. And the Cardinals 
We're going to have a full timeout by Colleen. We'll take their, their last final timeout. timeout. Cardinals last timeout, so both teams with three minutes to play are in the double bonus the rest of the way as the Middletown Middies lead the co-ranked Cardinals 74 to 51 here with exactly three minutes to play in the third quarter, but it's been a tale of two halves. Absolutely. If you are just w joining this basketball game on uh, Time Warner Cable in Coring Township and watching the Wake Cross community broadcast, you would think that this game was just a blowout, and it was a blowout, but the halftime score was 51 to nine. Cole Rain has scored 42 second half points against Middletown, who was forced to go back online with their press, and Cole Rain's done a much better job of attacking their press in the second half. And as it stands, 42 to 23 is the second half score in favor of Cole Rain, which is exactly what I know Coach Cruz wanted from his team. Cole Rain is just wipe the first half out and let's go play and win the second half of the basketball game and build on that and they've won and will should win the second half of this game finish strong and see what they can build on for the next game which as we know is right back here at the cage tomorrow night against loveland also a broadcast on wake cross community television cardinals back-to-back -back home games host the tigers of loveland tomorrow night Jordan Thomas completes the three-point play. And Ratliff with the steal. Thomas baseline drive, two points. Hicks, kick to Scott, knocked Locked away by Thomas. Nice defense by Thomas. And that looked like a travel. Bailey high off the glass. Switched up the press a little bit. They've gone from their 2-2-1 two, two, one to a 1-2-1. One, one. Scott thought about the three. Steps up, takes the jumper, not there. Rebound fought for. Still loose. Thomas and ends up with it. Spears did his best not to commit the foul. Ratliff to the hole, runner's no good. Snow jumps up and gets it. Okay, get the ball over the timeline. Barnett over to Cass Carter. Cross court, Hicks steps into it, three point shot, no good. Cass Carter has it knocked away by Bailey, who saves it from going out of bounds and has it ahead. And, oh, blocking foul. and they're going to be a block on player control foul. Did they call the Oh, I thought I saw the. He put his hands on his hips, yeah. but then signaled all offensive. So. Yeah, I was confused by his uh, hand signal as well. It looks like we're going to get a wholesale substitution. No, it is a, it is a foul on Scott. That'll be his yeah. fifth. And both uh, teams look like they'll empty their bench for the final 132 in this basketball game. So, for the middies, it'll be Cam Norris and Marquise Petty checking in for the Cardinals. Sims, Allen, Christian Barnes, Deion Andrews, and Javon Hicks. We're going to... Aria well, Ara Wells in. Yeah, here's the replay of the foul. I thought it was a blocking foul. The official initially signaled blocking foul, but then he put his hand behind his head as if he was signaling the offensive foul. Which again, Wake Cross is always Johnny on the spot with the timely and accurate replay because those of the truck like to always prove me wrong when they can. Both free throws no good. Rodney Allen with it. Coke and his own teammate <laughs> will cause the turnover. Christian Barnes trying to get in the stat sheet with a rebound. And, and fortunately for him, he doesn't get a steal when he causes his own team. Off the inbound, Cam Norris. Barnes. Kicks out, swing to the corner. Allen got a baseline drive. Can't get the finish. They'll go to the line for two free throws. Number 
Allen makes the first. Rodney Allen hits him both. To the minis. Lead 83-53. One minute to play. Marquise Petty drive, left hand, no good. Battle by Harris Sims. He is fifth. Darian Beavers will check in. Petty's free throw, no good. Second free throw rims out. Barnes with the rebound. Andrews gives it up. E.J. Errol steps up. Ah. Gets his own rebound, drive, kick. Deion Andrews, shot, good. Three-point bucket, E.J. Harrell with the assist. That's one way to get in the book. Wells with it, drive, sky, and finish, two points. E.J. Harrell with 18, seconds to play. Deion Andrews drives and draws the open court foul. the first. Okay, stay tuned after the game. We're going to uh, talk to Coach Cruz. Ask him uh, about the second half effort. Because that In was uh, really second. impressive by Colerain. Jump ball. Possession arrow to the middies. Coach Cruz is going to have him go full court. They're not going to let up here. Sure, why not? Why not? Learn what Gets you it can. ahead. Pass. Bailey can't finish, but it's blocked. With 1.1 seconds, we're going to end this game from the foul line. Bailey misses the first. Carter checks in. Bailey makes the second. And a formality of the inbound. EJ Harrell just short. Good. And their final here, Middletown Middies defeat the Cardinals 86 to 57. I'm going to talk to Brandon Wyatt for just a moment while he uh, grabs the uh, microphone so we can uh, talk to Coach Cruz and talk about the uh, second half performance of the Coring Cardinals and what he said to his team at halftime that you know, inspired such a Check. good effort. I know it's hard for you to hear me, but I can hear you just fine. Coach. What did you say to your team in the second half? I mean, I know what I said to the audience. I said, 
this is this, it's zero zero now. Let's go win the third and fourth quarter. Is that what you said? Yeah, pretty much. We just preached that obviously when you're down by that type of deficit, you're not going to get it back in one possession, two possessions, or even a quarter. So the big thing was is play with pride, play like it's zero zero, try to get better every single possession. You which out, is pretty oh, much what I'm sorry, but yeah. that's pretty much what we uh, that's pretty much what we preach every day in practice. Whether we give up a score, whatever the score is, we play hard on every single possession. And the guys did a better job of that definitely in the second half. Uh, you outscored Middletown 48 to 35 in the second half, and I was saying on the air that you got to play these guys again in Middletown, yeah. and that's what to me that's one of the best environments to play sure. a high school basketball game in Ohio. You got to get past the mental aspect, right? Because yeah. that's you don't want to have a double whammy, <laughs> no, right? No, I mean anytime you go ahead and spot a team, the what we did to start the game, I, I don't know what it was after the first quarter off the top of my head. I know it wasn't pretty. Um, it's hard to beat anybody, especially a good team like that. So uh, obviously we need to fix how we start games. Um, but I think that our, our guys, I was proud of the way that we showed some pride and showed some heart in the second sure, half. Sure. 35 is still way too much in terms of points allowed. We've got to be around 20 per half um, to be a team that can consistently win games. But uh, I guess it couldn't have gotten much worse than we did in the first right, half. I won't let you go without uh, having you comment about Blake Scott. 22 points tonight, led all scores. Yeah. Talk about him. Uh, you know, Blake obviously is our uh, pretty much our only returning player that's got any varsity experience. Um, you know, and obviously he's relied on heavily to score. Played a real nice game tonight. Um, really took a lot of good shots. I wasn't, there was only one or two that we were kind of maybe weren't the greatest of shots, but he was really good with his shot selection. Uh, and he's definitely a leader for us. We've got to get some other guys to help him a little bit in terms of scoring the basketball. But at the end of the day, we scored enough points to win this basketball game. For us to be successful, we've got to win games in the high 30s, low to mid 40s. Okay. Well, you got a quick turnaround tomorrow night. You got Loveland, so I'm going to let you get out of here, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. And good All luck. Right. Appreciate get it, guys. Thank you. All right, Coach. All right, Coach Cruz. All right, so for Al Gabriel, this is Brian White, and this has been Coleraine Basketball on Waycross Community Television. Thank you, Tony. of this program are available for $20 each. Send program title along with your address and check or money order to Waycross Community Media. Attention Dub Coordinator, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio 45240. Or buy securely on the web at www.waycross.tv.